believe it. I can't believe you forgot to pack my jogging shoes. I don't think I could have put you in the bag anyway. Besides, I thought on this vacation we might occupy our time to recover things. Yeah, well, there's lots to do. You got everything you need? Mm -hmm. Got everything you need, Frank. Got my tickets, got my books, got my swimsuit. This will not have much use. You get to sleep? Oh, yes. I've got it somewhere. You're right, son. Sugar, I think you will go up these. Would you like a picture? Oh, yeah. Take it, please. Thank you. Very well. Thank you. Would you like a picture? Yeah, make it a good one. This is the one vacation I get to wonder if you want. time on QE2? Yes, it is. Oh, it's just huge. Well, she's 13 stories high and 963 feet long. It's like a city. It's bigger than some. Oh, but I better hold on to your hand. I don't want to get lost before we pull out. Well, we got over 900 crew on here just to look after you, so if you do get lost, then uh, just ask one of them. Over oh. 900? Well, they don't call it the greatest ship in the world for nothing. We've got four restaurants. Relaxation. Well, we've got uh, four swimming pools, three nightclubs, six bars, Turkish bar, sauna bar, disco, an acre of sun deck. You name it, we've got it. Jogging track. Where is it? That's on the boat deck. I'll show you the way. Bon Look, fresh flowers. They're beautiful. The whole ship is. You believe the size of this thing? Even the room. Darling, I bought a little something to christen our trip. You didn't. We don't travel on the eighth wonder of the world every day. Oh. oh, John, that isn't what I think it is. He didn't bring word. Uh, yes. But not much. <laughs> them for a drink later on. Dead. They seem very nice. Well, I'm sure they are. They also seem old. John. Well, we'll have one drink with them and then hit the disco. You don't have to go to the disco tonight. I know, but I also know how much you like to dance. We've got plenty of time for that. But only three minutes to be on time for our captain's party. Ready? Yep. Please welcome Captain Doug Ridley. Thank you, Bob. Once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you on board QE2 on behalf of Canard 9 and the Austin Ships Company. Hello. You know, I just have to tell you how fabulous I think this ship is. You know, I don't think anyone else could do it the way Canard does. 
Well, we've been doing it since 1840. We've had plenty of practice at it. Tell me, how many passengers do you carry? We carry 1,700 passengers and over 900 crew. I don't understand how you can feed all these people so easily. Well, the chef, John Bainbridge, orders food all around the world. And for instance, on a, a passage like this, which is five days, we would have all oh, about 5,000 pounds of turkey, about 5,000 pounds of chicken, and about 25,000 pounds of prime beef. Plus, I think, uh, we're probably the world's largest buyer of caviar. I'm glad of that. I love caviar. Ah, oh, yes, for Phillips. Good evening. Nice to have you aboard. I could get used to this sort of treatment. Wouldn't take much. Good evening, sir. Do you really have all these wines? All the 20 Belgians. 20 th Well, let's just see here. Why don't you think of something that you think will go well with a dinner? What? Yes, excellent idea. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Twenty thousand bottles. I hope he picks the right one. I'm sure he will. <laughs> <laughs> Send me to the States. That was a good move because there I met Stella. And after seven months, we were married. That was an even better move. Wait another round. Then I jogged around the boat deck three or four times. But I did save enough energy for a little dancing. We can all dance here. Why not? Here? Super places. How many would you guess? 
Well, it's funny you should ask, because it was only the other day that we counted up. And between the Atlantic crossings and the Caribbean and the Mediterranean cruises and our round-the-world trips, we counted 81 different ports around the world. Which is your favourite? That's very difficult to say. There's so much to see in every single one of them. All those passengers interested in the yoke car should assemble in the Queen's room. Raise the left leg, point the toe, and keep the knee straight. Straighten your leg. It's as straight as it'll go. That's close. Well, that's as close as I'm going to make it. <laughs> Lower the leg to the floor. Roll over onto your back. Draw the knees up. Take in a deep breath. And relax. <coughs> Pleasure game, Jan, this afternoon, John. Well, we were talking about hitting the golf tee, and then the pool, and afterwards a little, a little disco. I mean, uh, you know, later on. Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? You know, you don't mind this one? Who? Me, when I was your age, huh? I do. You know, it's all go, go, go. You've got to do everything early, you've got to do everything in a day. Right? Well, that's me. You've got to do it while you can. Oh, you can discover a little leisure, a little elegance, maybe a little romance. The old traditional values. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the old traditional values. We give them half a chance. Yeah, well, all that stuff has its time and place. Like last night. Now, that was kind of fun. But you got to understand, Frank, people in my age, we just approach things a little differently. It's a different age. So you're going to act your age, huh? Right. We are on a ship with the greatest array of amenities afloat, and you got to act your age? Listen, if a guy like me acts his age, I just sit in a chair and watch the sunset, huh? A guy like you who's got to act his age has got to be all this dry, bunch girl, huh? Well, that's not all we do. I mean, after this, Diane and I are going to sit down, relax, watch a movie. Come on, let's all go together, huh? I'll tell you all about it later on. That was good, I thought. I didn't understand it. Is anybody hungry? Oh, I can do with a bite and a little libation. Afternoon tea. Sounds perfect. Tea? <laughs> good tea, I must admit. I've never had afternoon tea. Cakes and coffee. Fabulous. Pizza burger now and then. Absolutely. That's a spirit, John. See you. Never knew what you were missing. <laughs> okay, it's my hand. Come back. Looks like it is. to tell us there were seven wonders of the world, well, John and I have just discovered the eighth. Our time aboard the QE2 has been beyond belief. There's such grandeur, such elegance, such tradition, such magic. It's almost like a storybook world, but instead of just reading about it, here you get a chance to live it, enjoy it, experience it firsthand. We've met people you don't get a chance to meet anywhere else. And we've done things we haven't done in years. Dancing the way Mom and Dad used to do it. Sunlit strolls, even sunrises. We only have a few more days before we reach New York. But right now, our workaday worlds seem a million miles away. Hopefully, when John and I return home, it'll be that way for a long time. Love, Diane. All men interested in participating in a putting competition, please proceed to the sports deck.
Pretty out here, isn't it? Beautiful. That's a slow relax. Well, since we pulled out, what have you tried that you haven't tried before? I mean, with all that the QE2 has to offer, there's got to be something. You know what? I got an idea. Yes! We're all going to the disco tonight. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You go to your disco. We're going to the ballroom. My disco. You think so, maybe, because a lot of people there just happen to be my age. But a good friend of mine told me one time, it can get pretty boring acting your own age. Your turn. So I was talking to him this afternoon, and we know exactly where to meet us. Oh, John, they're beautiful. You deserve it. Now, there's one last thing I have to do before we go out tonight. Oh, you're not taking out work. No, there's something in here I need. John. To the most romantic woman I know. Frank and Phillips got to see this. Here's to you, Mrs. Phillips. Are you sure they know where to meet us? I told them right here. Aren't you going to get dressed? A little later. Maybe we'll see John Diane for a late night here. Come on. Let's see how well I can keep up with you. Okay. I didn't want to go to his disco. But I've never tried it either, but who cares? Maybe I do. But I don't want to look a fool. Not bad. What time is it going to be? It's at 9. 49, 45. I know. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe they're not going to come. What a shame. What do you say we give the floor one more go of it before we call it a night? Oh, Frank, at our age we have a free license. There's almost nothing we can do that can make us look foolish. Stella! Frank! Oh, I'm glad you came. We don't know what we're doing here. Well, we don't either. You just get out there and give it a try. days in the city? You're welcome to stay with us. Oh, we'd love to, but... Really, we've got to get home ourselves.
think it'll be the same? Yep. Yeah.